Hello, everyone. Today we're going to learn about assets, nomenclature of assets, writing formulas, and naming assets. All right, so what's an asset? Uh, well, an acid is a substance that produces hydronium ions, in other words, a proton, because of hydrogen loses one electron, the only thing that remains is really a proton. So that's why we call it a proton or the hydronium ion. And when this is dissolved in water, we have an acid. Acids have one or more hydrogen ions. To show you an example of this, for instance, we have this is an acid, H2SO4, or we have another acid, HCl. Another acid is H3PO4. Notice that this acid has two hydrogen ions. This, one's, this one has one hydrogen ion, and this one has three hydrogen ions. So where can we find acids? Let's find out. Hi, Ms. Z. What are you doing? You sure do look busy there. Well, I'm making a salad. And as soon as I'm done, I'm going to put some vinegar, which is acetic acid. Did you know that? And what are you doing now? I'm, I'm baking. And I'm gonna be adding cream of tartar, which is tartaric acid. And now what's going on? Well, I'm checking my car. I'm checking the battery. Did you know that this battery contains sulfuric acid in it? Did you know that? There are basically two types of acids. Binary acids and ternary acids. Binary acids have two parts, like the prefix indicates, and ternary acids have three parts, or possibly more. But the key to ternary acids are the, is that they are oxy acids, and they contain oxygen. So here you see a list, list of binary acids and a list of ternary acids. We're going to learn how to name those acids uh, momentarily. Now, the naming rules depends on the kind of acid that you have. If no oxygen is present, then we use the prefix hydro, the root of the negative ion, and IC ending, and then the word acid. For example, with this, formula, HCl, we would say this is hydro the root is chlor, the root of the negative ion, and then IC. So hydrochloric acid. Then we have HBr. So the name would be hydro, the root is brome, and 
I C N D acid. And then finally, H I would be hydro iodic for iodine acid. All right, now, if we are doing naming acids that contain oxygen, such as HNO3, H2SO4, and H3PO4, we have to look at the negative polyatomic ion, this polyatomic ion, and this polyatomic ion. So let's start here. If the polyatomic ion ends in 8, the, then we use the suffix ic acid. This time, notice that we do not use the hydro prefix. So if they contain oxygen, we're going to say this is the nitrate ion. Notice nitrate ends in 8. Therefore, they, we're going to substitute the 8 ending for ic. And we're going to say this is nitrate. I'll get better at this. Nitric acid. Okay. This ion is sulfate. Also ends in ATE. So therefore the ending is going to be ic. So this is so sulfur is the root, sulfuric acid. This is phosphate, so therefore it would be phosphoric acid. Notice that all of these went from eight to ick. So you can remember it by um, this little story then. Uh, it, oh, he ate acid. Ick. All right, let's try another one. If I have HNO2, this is the night trite anion or polyatomic ion. So we're going to call this night goes to it goes to OUS. So this would be nitrous acid. Okay, you get the picture? Remember, eight goes to ick, and it goes to us. This is pretty much it. Uh, to, to write the formulas, you simply go backwards on the process. And we'll do a lot of more practice tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.